a career win, really, on Saturday, a great win, an aggressive win. What did you see in terms of that that output by Robbie Lawler? Do you think it was a cardio issue, or do you think it was maybe a game plan on his behalf to try to wear you down and maybe try to get you later in the fight? Yeah, let's, let's talk to the man. Let's not talk to the pundits. Let's not talk to all the people that, that are on the Internet that think they know <laughs> fighting and, and they know what it takes to be great and be a legend like Robbie Lawler. Let's talk to the man himself. And what I think, I just think that I'm on a different level than everybody right now. Well, Colby, now, this is something Misha and I were talking about uh, before you got on, right? You call him a legend, and he is, right? First ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, but then, obviously, after the fight on Saturday, a lot of headlines, well, those people on the Internet, the pundits, the analysts, right, latched onto your post-fight speech about Matt Hughes. Now, you call Robbie Lawler a legend, which I agree with, right? So is Matt Hughes, and Matt Hughes is the guy on some level who taught Robbie Lawler everything he knew, and well, not everything, but a, a large part of what he knew. He was clearly an important part in his life, so if he is that legend, if he is someone you look up to, why why did you choose to take that shot then coming off such a big win? I, I think it's funny that a lot of the people that want to hate on that, there's nothing in my contract that says I have to be nice. They say, right. hey, you get, in, you get in your underwear and you go in there and you want to brutally beat someone up and leave them in the hospital. But I don't remember anybody saying anything about being nice or saying nice words about about people so i just don't care what people think all the people that are saying things they live in glass houses the people that try and slander my name they want to make me look bad and say things like that they should they should be careful what they're saying they live in glass houses don't don't throw rocks when you live in glass houses so what what is it that inspired you to be um, to say something kind about Robbie? Because I feel like that was a bit uncharacteristic of of what we typically see and how you typically promote is you know you you do bring the trash talk, you do bring the the things that get everybody fired up and gets headlines and people clicking and um, people are interested in that. But then you come out and you say something so th- ultra respectful and even starting the show right, calling the man a legend. Um, why? What, what what what's the change in tune? Oh, Misha, you know, I mean, I bring in the ratings. There's a reason you had me on your show today. I know, I know you talk things about me behind my back, and, and I mean, it gets back to me. All the people say about how negative thoughts you say about me, and I'm how, how I'm this, I'm telling that. And I just think it's very hypocritical, because I, I don't think you're a perfect person. You might have some skeletons in your closet as well. So for you to, to call out me and say what I do wrong, I, I sell and promote fights, and that's what I'm doing right now. And I go out there and I win those fights. I don't know if you guys heard, but I also had the President of the United States call me right after my fight in the, in the family front row. And there's a reason behind all of that. I bring in the entertainment. Why is it that nobody gets it but the man himself, Matt Hughes, gets it? He sends a text message to my agent, Dan Lambert, says, oh, man, that's funny, you know? That's just what the nature of we joke around. And it's the truth. Get off the train when, when Colby's coming through, the, the Colby train or the Trump train. Get off the tracks or you're going to get ran over. Look, look, Colby, I respect your your opinion and everything, and I hope you don't think anything I say on air is tra- talking trash. I don't have your number directly. Maybe I could, I mean, I, look, I, I say it, and I expect fully that it's a public news, and you can hear it, and, you know, I'm definitely not trying to say anything behind your back. I, before you got on the show, if you were listening, I said, look, I met Colby. You know, he was volunteering his time he's a super nice person at that time i didn't really follow like his interviews and the first time i heard him talk i was shocked because i felt like he was such a nice person and i think that this is an act and i don't i will go on air right now right to your face and tell you i don't typically like that kind of talk the trash talk it's not what i follow it's not what i like i think you're a nice person and i think you're playing a heel role and i don't i'm not a fan of the heel i'm not a fan of the trash talk i'm not it's not my thing not what i follow but i'm there you have it there's to your face it's nothing behind your back that's how i see it awesome well the way i see it you know is is you got famous off, off losing to my girl ronda rousey i mean you got famous for putting pictures on the internet you got famous for other things that we won't talk about because I don't want to really bury your name. So if you're going to say I'm disgusting the West, in the Western Hemisphere and you're disgusting for this sport and I, you would never allow that in one FC and this and that, acting like you're on a pedestal, like you're better than everybody, then you should be one to talk. That's very two-faced and hypocritical and it shows what type of fake person you are. You want to act in the media and talk on your little podcast and talk like you're a perfect person, but you act like you're perfect and you've done everything right. You've never done anything wrong in your career. So I just think it's very hypocritical and people need to hold themselves accountable in America. 
Colby, I, I get it. You want to trash talk and everything. I'm not trying to be hypocritical, and you're going to see it that way, and that's fine. But, you know, this is how I feel. And I have, you know, this is America. You stand for America. I have my opinion. I'm not a fan of the trash talk. I don't claim to be perfect. I've never claimed to be perfect. And you do you, man. Like, do your thing. Like, I, I'm not trying to sit here and say you shouldn't. I've never said you shouldn't come to, to one championship. That's from coming from my boss. And you're, and you're right. You don't fit the mold of one championship. You shouldn't want to come here. You're doing big things in the UFC. So who gives a shit what one championship thinks about you? I'm not a fan of trash talk. I never will be. I like sportsmanship. You don't. Big deal. This is the, we, we are Americans. I'm allowed to have my own opinion. You're allowed to have your own opinion. But I'm not sitting, sitting here trying to trash talk you. I say I don't like that kind of style. And I don't. And I never will. I like the, the, the humble sportsman. I like GSP. I like that kind of stuff. But, man... Go do your thing. I'm not trying to tell you that you shouldn't. I think you're next in line. I think you should have shot, fought already for the title. Like, I'm not out here to hate on you. I just don't particularly like that kind of trash talk. But, hey, it. you know what? I, I, I mean, I feel, like, very disrespected in this conversation, to be honest. So, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to really say right now. It's kind of crazy that you would go on that level just because I have an opinion that you as an American should have respect for the fact that at least I have the balls to say it to your face and that that, that's my opinion and I am entitled to it. I did not put you down as a person. You put me down as a person. To defend myself. I'm here to defend myself. You talk bad about about my name behind my back, so here I am. I'm I'm confronting you. I'm not talking behind your back. Here you are. You're right on my... Are you kidding me? You say in the headlines all the time, oh, Colby is trash talk. I don't play that. He's disgusting. I would never allow him to... I didn't say disgusting. What are you talking about? Don't put words in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth. Hold on one second. Colby, you realize... Colby, you realize that that's part of her job description, right? Like, she's transitioned to be an analyst to give her thoughts on the sport. You are a part of this sport. You make headlines for controversy you also make headlines for the exciting fights you put on like you did Saturday. You, you understand that, right? She's not. It's not a personal vendetta against Colby Covington. You're an active fighter, one that is a championship contender, and she's trying to give her I'm, thoughts I'm on the champion. sport as she sees it. I'm the champion. I've done something none but not, never done before. So if you guys... You guys can have your opinion. I agree to disagree, and that's why we well, can have a civil conversation. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat things. I'm not gonna, I'm telling you guys how it is because I'm a real person, and that's how I do things. I'm not gonna act like I'm not gonna talk about it when that's what I'm thinking. That hey, you guys want to talk about me? Here I am to defend myself. Colby, what Colby, you talk, Colby, that? you talk about being civil, which I think is interesting. I, we could debate that, but you just made reference to pictures. You, you essentially said that Misha Tate released pictures to increase her popularity. Of course you're talking about the pictures that were hacked from her phone and illegally released to the internet thus you're kind of implying that she did that herself so now you're sitting here saying and that's a low blow that's personal misha just dissected your you know your fighting career you come on our show and you directly relate to a story about that i mean that's the yeah, that's like, like colby 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 it's the colby it's the complete opposite of civility like show to give you your best your best ratings you're ever going to get you're lucky like the best, that like, your like, show today. like the you best ratings yourself. that UFC on ESPN got, which was the lowest rated UFC on ESPN ever. Like the lowest rated show, the SiriusXM. No one cares about it, man. No one, okay. no one cares to hear you guys thought. You guys are jobbers, dude. Both of you guys. There's a reason you're the bottom, the bottom feeder leagues. Well, There's Colby, you don't, that, Colby, that you don't. She's not Brian Perry, and she's not this great person that she says she she actually likes. Okay. Well, Colby, you don't have to worry about it because you'll never be on the show again. So it works out well. We want to appreciate you for the time, man. And congratulations on a a big win that was Saturday. Okay.